All right, so you've got this uh, solid door that just has a door texture on it. It's got black in the middle, so you want that to be a hole, of course. So you just clip it. Now it's two brushes. Now it's three brushes. Now we make one of them little, and it doesn't mess up the UV. And there's your doorway and then you want an actual hole in the wall so that Gordo can go through so you just do the same thing again and maybe this time you select the middle bit and you do the same operation but this time you're discarding the part of the wall that you don't want and then it can go straight through and maybe you don't want this whatever this texture is so you click on this and then you sh alt right click on this one to just copy the UV across so that it is sort of seamless looks good that doesn't look good but there we go amazing don't you wish you could do that in unreal engine 5 and another thing, what if you want to actually build some stuff out of these brushes is it fast or is that slow it's real fast Let's just grab my wall that I already have, that I already re UV'd nice, and just resize it. And just grab it again. And I can zoom in and out while I'm dragging stuff around, so... Just resize them. It's that easy. There's no widgets. Why would you have a widget? You know? Why would you doom yourself to that? And I just copy my UVs around. Perfect. And maybe I want to cut a hole through, like, more than one thing at once. I'll just select more than one thing at once. Clip, clip. Just move these up. Now I've got some kind of kind of doorway situation. It's more like a crawl space. Now it's a doorway situation. Maybe I want a door, so I'll just do that. Sort of indent that a little bit. Now I can just put like a door texture on that. What have I got door texture-wise? This isn't a door texture, but it's going to have to do. I'll just fit that. UV. Look at that. Away you go. Now, it's not just square stuff. What if I want to select these and I've got a pipe I want to jam through or something. I'll just do this. Better, I'll just... Uh, maybe I want just a little hole. So I'll just do that. Now I can just put my pipe mesh or whatever I'm doing. Whatever depraved thing I'm doing with this geometry. Now check out this, we've got UV tools. So, this obviously doesn't fit on this brush. That's fine. It's a tiling texture. Let's just align it to the top. Oh, it's aligned to the top. Bottom, left, right, center, fit. Nice, all right, so, and maybe maybe I have like a tall wall. <clears throat> so I wanna, you know, use this texture and not stretch it, but I want it to be in proportion. So let's just fit it. And I'll copy the one axis onto the other and apply that. And bam. And you know, maybe I want to, you know, grab that and skew it. It's like a bent wall. And I still want it to curve around like that. Like I've got curved pipes, which I don't because I'm on Half Life Engine. All right. So imagine a world where Unreal Engine 5 could do that. Unfortunately, we just don't have the technology. We're just not there yet as a species.